Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow K10s. It is Mr. Klachayo here. Welcome to Back to Basics. What we are doing now, uh, basically, we are looking at our uh, probability. This is probability K10, and we are trying to find out in terms of how can we go about whenever we are given such questions to solve, right? Now, let's start with the first question. Now, uh, so these, firstly, this is going to be your November 2023 paper, right? This is 2023 paper. This is from the Gauteng province, right? Now, uh, so firstly, they say in a random experiment, A and B are two different events. Now, suppose that probability of A is equal to 0, 0,4 and probability of B is equal to K. Right. So the first question there, they are saying now, if the probability of A or B is 0, 0,6, uh, for which value of K is A and B mutually exclusive, right? Okay. So now, how do we then uh, go about in solving such question? Now, let's start here. So whenever they speak of mutual exclusive, for an example, right? So when something is mutually exclusive, which means then they are saying the probability of A and B is equal to what is equal to Z, right? And when you speak of mutual exclusive, basically we are saying now here, if this is your Venn diagram, right? There is no form of intersection between these two events, right? So how do we then go about in representing that one, right? So we, which means now we are going to say, look, the probability of A, it's probability of, uh, or rather probability of A or B, right? Probability of A or B, is going to be the same as probability of A multi, uh, plus the probability of what? Plus the probability of B, right? Or to get. Now, this is same as subtract the probability of A and B. Or to get. However, now they've indicated to us that these events, they are uh, what mutually exclusive, which means where there is A and B, it's same as zero, right? So, which means this is going to be same as uh, zero comma, this is going to be zero comma six, is equal to what is the probability of A? The probability of A is given by 0, 0,4 plus the probability of B is given by K. Subtract so this is the same as 0 because now uh, already they've told us that these are mutually exclusive, right? So which means now to find out what is going to be the probability of K, it's going to be same as 0, 0,6 subtract 0, 0,4 which is equal to K. Therefore, right? Therefore, your K uh, is going to be same as 0, 0,2. Or to get. So now that's going to be the probability of what? That is going to be the probability of K. Now, if we are moving swiftly along, we are looking at 6.1 point, uh, 6.1.2. They say for which value of K is probability of A and B complementary events, right? They say for which value of K is probability of A and B complementary events, right? So now what is it that we know about complementary event, right? So which means now as soon as we speak of complement complementary event, we are saying this is where the probability of A plus the probability of what? The probability of B is equals to what? Oh, okay. Now which means... For the value of K for these two events to be complementary, it's going to be same as what, right? So, which means here we are going to say uh, the probability of P, right? Remember, probability of P is given by K. So, this is same as uh, now 0, 0,4. This is same as 0, 0,4. Uh, plus, what is that you're going to have here? Plus K is equals to 1, which means now this is when K is same as 1 subtract 0, 4, which means it's going to be where your value of your K is given by what? Where your value of your K is given by 0, 6. That's where these two events are going to be what? They are going to be complementary events. Once again, I'm hoping that, you know, you are in a position to understand these questions. Let's look at your 6.2 then now and see in terms of how can we go about in, uh, you know, in solving this question. Now, let's look there, right? So now let's make up our space firstly, right? So let's make up our space. Now, uh, now, if we let's say for an example, we are looking at 6.2, what is it that you are going to take from here, right? For an example, we are looking at 6.2. They say in a class, you're having 60 learners. 
Uh, now you are having eight learners that take history. You are having forty-one learners that takes mathematics, and you are having sixteen learners that takes neither. Uh, you what? Uh, neither of the two subjects. Oh, okay. So now, what is it that they want us to do? Now they want us to calculate in terms of, uh, the number of learners that do both history and also mathematics, right? Now, uh, so what are going to be the learners that do both? history and also mathematics now how can we then go about in finding those particular learners right so now for an example personally i would say from here now how many are we having right they are saying we are looking for those that take history and mathematics right so which means now what is the learners that take hi history for an example here you are having eight learners right this is eight learners that takes history uh, this is how many learners that take mathematics. You are having plus 41 learners that takes mathematics. Uh, then you are subtracting the learners. You're subtracting X, which is going to represent the learners that take uh, both of these subjects, which this is going to be same as what? This is going to be same as 60 subtract what? Subtracting 16 learners that take none of these subjects, right? Now, remember here, we are saying these are going to be the total in the what? The total in your what? In your sample space, right? Remember, you have 60 in your sample space, but 16 are the ones who do not take any subject, right? So, which means this is actually going to be same as 8 plus 41, minus x uh is going to be same as what when you say six when you say 16 right so when you say your 16 uh subtract 16 what is that you're going to have here this is same as 44 oh, it's okay so which means then now what is it that you're going to have here so which means here you are going to have uh here this is going to be you can transpose your x this side and bring your 44 this side right Oh, okay. Which means when you are doing like that, what is that you're going to have, have here? When you say, uh, you know, 8 plus 41, 8 plus 41 gives you 49, right? So which means here, this is same as 49 subtract 44. And then 49 subtract 44, then your value of your x here, it's going to be same as 5. Oh, it's okay, right? So hopefully uh, this one makes sense in terms of how do we go about in calculating that one, right? Now, however... Now let's look at your six point uh six point two point two and see in terms of what is the question requiring us to do. So there they want us to draw our Venn diagram, right? Can you see that in that question they want us to draw the Venn diagram, right? So now we are going to draw our Venn diagram, right? So this is us drawing our Venn diagram, right? So this is the two intersection, right? So our Venn diagram, obviously, because here you have learners that are taking both history and also mathematics. So which means you are going to have an intersection here. Oh, okay, right? Please try not to mind my, you know, my circle, right? Uh, now, so let's start here. Whenever we are required to do the Venn diagram, right? What is the sum of the key things that we need to take note firstly, right? What is it? How many learners are you having here in the sample space here you're having 60 right you're having 60 learners that are in the sample space right now if you can start here for an example uh they said you're having from here you're having 16 that takes neither right so which means this if this is mathematics and this is history right learners would not take any of these subjects they are going to be 16 right so which means these are they going to be the outside ones and then now we are going to then start with the intersection right learners that takes both history and also mathematics and we said when you calculated there we said you're having five learners that are taking history and also mathematics right so which means here you are going to have five right so and then now now that you've started from your intersection then when you move Backward. They said those that are taking, uh, for an example, mathematics, they are 41, right? So which means the learners that are taking mathematics is going to be same as 41 subtract 5, right? And 41 subtract 5, it's going to give you 36. Oh, it's again. So which means you are going to have 36 learners who are taking what? 36 learners who are going to be taking your what? That are going to be taking your history or rather your mathematics, right? Then now when we look at history, learners that are taking history, how many learners are you going to have? It's going to be same as 8 subtract 5, right? 8 subtract 5. When you say 8 subtract 5 here, you are going to have the total number of learners, which is going to be 3. 
right? So which means this is going to be the number of learners that are taking history altogether, uh, that are going to be taking his. And now, now that you are having that, so basically this is going to be what you are having altogether. This is 36, 5, 3, and also the outside one is going to be 16. Altogether, I'm hoping that this one makes sense. Let's look at your 6.2.3. Now in 6.2.3, now, they are saying now, they want us to determine now the probability of the learners that are taking history only, right? So, the learners that are taking history only, what is that you're going to do? So, the probability of history is going to be same as what? History only is going to be only the three. So, it's going to be three out of 60. That's okay. And now, when you say three out of 60, then uh, one can also say this is same as one over 20, if I'm not mistaken. That's okay. All right? So... Uh, and then which is still can be written as 0, 0,05, right? So this is the probability of history. Now, if you are looking at the probability of uh, learners that do not take uh, mathematics, so when you are looking for the learners that do not take uh, mathematics, right? So this is the probability of maths not altogether. And now, what is going to be the probability of maths not now? What is it that you are going to have here? In order for us to find out what is the probability of the learners that do not take uh, mathematics, right? We are going to start here. Now we are going to say, look, what is it that you are having here? Remember we said mathematics, what is that you are given? You are, uh, you are given 36, you are also given 5. Okay. So then the learners who are uh, the probability, the learners that do not take mathematics is going to be only what? Can you see that this is going to be same as the 36 plus 5, right? And then it's going to be just excluding what? Excluding the what? The 3. Once again. So which means now from here, the probability of the learners that do not take mathematics is going to be same as what? Now the learners, remember the learners that are taking mathematics is 36. And then it's going to be also your 5, right? So this is going to be same as now 36 and your 5. This is same as 41 over what? This is same as 41 over 16. Once again, and what is that you're going to have here? This you are going to have 19 over, right? This is going to be 19 over 60. Once again, so now this is going to be the probability of the learners that does not take mathematics. Right? Once again, uh, now, so which means now from here, what else then now can we do? So uh, in 6.2.5, so we are going to say now from here, they, they are looking for the probability. They are saying now the probability that uh, mathematics learners is also a science learner is 0, 0,925. Now they want us to determine the number of learners that takes science, right? So now they are saying the probability that uh, mathematics learners, how many mathematics learners are we having? We said we are having 41, isn't it, right? So now they are saying, uh, if you are having, right, they're asking now for an example, uh, we are looking to find out in terms of what is going to be the learners that are taking science, which means now we are saying X over, right, this is going to be X over 41, right? We are not sure in terms of what is the number of the learners that are taking science, right? But we know that the total is going to be over 41, which is going to be same as what? Which is going to be same as 0, comma what? This is 0, comma, uh, 927, 927. Once again, and when you cross multiply here, you are going to find out that now your value of your x is same as 41, right? Multiply by 0, comma, 927, which this is going to give you what? This is going to give you 38, right? This is 38 comma what zero zero seven so but now we are just going to take this whole number which means now the learners that are taking signs in this particular case they are going to be 38 all together so i am hoping that all of this makes sense and you are in a position to answer all these types of questions thank you very much for listening